Good morning, Bruffy. We're late for the ceremony, so quickly get in. Yeah, I am 10 minutes, well, 15 minutes late. Is that like, is, is the, the coffin in the back of the Romero actually like an extra? That you can toggle on and off? Oh wow, it's all black cars. Oh, what's happened? Who died? This video is supported by my merch store. Go to store.bruffy.com to browse a wide variety of styles, including the ever popular G Fred logo and random race designs, all available on t shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more. The coffin in the back is a vanilla extra that you can remove. Yes, I have one in online. I'm guessing you need to do like some merge glitch or something for that. Yeah, this is giving me vibes of uh, of the the MCC shenanigans from PC. <laughs> We've got the doors are all ready. Oh no! <laughs> we are gathered here today to remember a sad time on the server. So sad, in fact, that Benny pissed off to do some endurance race. He's not even bothered to be here. <laughs> uh oh! Oh no! I've sent something out to your Discord, Bruffy. This is critical to the showcase. Okay, hang on. Today is a sad day for Project Homecoming. Wait, this font isn't sad enough. <laughs> that was my font. Today is a sad day for Project Homecoming. <laughs> Due to the updated 5M platform license agreement, we've had to remove almost 80 cars from the server, including cars from other IPs, even GTA 4. The full list is in the update log channel, but here are a few notable mentions. Oh no, can I request everyone react with a Bible thump with every mention today? Oh no. The Felta Cooper is gone, no. The oh, the old Turismo, the GTA 4 Turismo. Oh, the Perenna, oh no. Oh, Roman's ca- oh. Oh. The tw 20 th I mean, Oliver from Top Gear. I didn't even know these were on the server. I thought you kept it law friendly. What? <laughs> you didn't have that on the server. And most importantly. No, not the Dominator Classic. No. Ah, oh, yeah, wasn't it like. Wasn't it from. Like Max Payne or something? Or it was from a different game, wasn't it? The model. Oh, the Dominator Classic. Oh, it's, that's like the original car that was shown, the, shown on Project Homecoming that was like, this is what's possible with Project Homecoming. How amazing is this car? And we've just been able to mod it in. Can we get them back with Homecoming Plus? Yeah, can we, can we have home? The 80 cars were good cars, fun cars, memorable cars. Cars you get to think, I've never seen this outside of random races. Cars that would have made a banging custom class, but here we stand, mourning the loss of all of them. Ah. Rest well, you buttes, indeed. 80 cars. It's amazing, isn't it? Rockstar have found a way to also remove cars <laughs> from, <laughs> from Project Homecoming. And uh, uh, and 5M, they weren't satisfied enough with removing all the cars from, <laughs> from, from GTA Online. <laughs> Follow me, bro. I hope we meet under different circumstances, but the show must go on. Okay. Ah, oh, rip. New cars! You've seen this before on 8th Gear. The RS1 Sandstorm is now on Project Homecoming, made by Paddy Productions. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful. It's the um, it's like a LMDH, right? Is that what they're called? The the new hyper cars, and another new car is the Ocelot Estancia by Siroc, a law fully law friendly car model based on the real life redacted due to five M terms and conditions. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice this one. It is based on a car. It is based on a fully uh, made-up car, just like the La Carouse is based on nothing in particular, and the Peugeot logo is nothing like Renault in GTA. <laughs> Disclaimer: Both cars are in testing, so handling may or may not be final. Also, the Stantia is based on the Lotus Emira, banned due to 5M terms and conditions. <laughs> rip, rip! Dim, I got banned. <laughs> Immediate Rockstar ban. See, shouldn't have mentioned it. 
<laughs> Very good showcase. Very, it was such a shame, though. Good showcase, but, like, yeah, 80 cars had to be removed because, for those who don't know, since Rockstar now own 5M, they released new terms and conditions for 5M, saying that no server can have copyrighted work from any other um, game or IP or anything like that. So any copyrighted material from anything else has to go. And a lot, a lot of servers have, um, you know, a lot of servers have used regular cars, which is never. I've always liked the law friendly stuff, keeping in with the law of GTA Five and GTA Online. So. You know, all of the stuff on Project Homecoming has been, it's not, you're not adding an Audi RS3 or whatever. You're adding the the law-friendly version, the Obey, whatever it is. But most RP servers seem to just have forgotten about that and put real-world cars in, which always felt a little weird to me. Um, but they're going to have to, you know, get rid of all those. They're going to have to change all of that and, and put in law-friendly um law friendly version so yeah i guess they're all they were always law friendly in project homecoming but the, if the model the car model has been taken from a different game which a lot of obviously 80 cars have they've had to be removed as well that's so unfortunate about the dominator classic though that's the biggest miss that was like the original the project homecoming mascot car but though I'm sure you know, there's a lot of um, uh, talented people who are making all these cars um, that that can make their own versions of them. They just have to be made from scratch, basically, uh, because yeah, can't have copyright. It's amazing. Rockstar found a way to remove cars from Five M as well. <laughs> Not just. It's a shame that the GTA Four cars had to go though. Like that was those those were some of the better cars to see in GTA Five. The most annoying part that even other Rockstar IP had to get removed since they exclusively said even other Rockstar products break the. So yeah, they actually said even other Rockstar products. So yeah, no like, yeah, no GTA Four cars or was it Max Payne cars for some of them or whatever. You know, Roman's cab, never see that again in a random all. The Super GT, yeah, the old Turismo. No Mafia cars. It's such a shame. Oh well. Thanks, Rockstar. Could have at least let other Rockstar titles be allowed. Dickheads. Precursor to no GTA 6 models. Yeah, 100%. That's why they've done it as well, to say specifically not even other Rockstar products. Because when GTA 6 comes out, they're going to shut down any potential for making RP servers for GTA 6 or 5M version of GTA 6 because they're going to say, oh, well, we've got 5M for all that kind of stuff now, so you don't need GTA 6 or... So then you won't be able to port over GTA 6 cars, you won't be able to use the GTA 6 map for, for any kind of 5M equivalent, and anyone who tries to do it will get taken down and they'll feel like, oh, it's okay, we can do that without having a massive community backlash because, hey, we've got 5M for that. That's, that's why they bought it in the first place, 100%. And that's why they've made this change and specifically said no other Rockstar products. So no one's going to make 6M because if they try, Rockstar will take it down. 100%. I'm, I'm telling you now, it's going to happen. And that's why they've done all of this. That's why they bought 5M in the first place. How did 5M get made then? It went under the radar for long enough that by the time Rockstar could react to it and remove it, it was too big. And the community backlash would have been... I mean, didn't they take it down at one point in the early stages and then it came back and then it was just too big? It, it exploded too much. And they even said that to me when I went to meet them. Uh, in London that a number of years ago, the community team. They were like, at this point, it would be too much to take it down. That was open for that they, they got rid of, yeah. And then they had to bring that back as a community backlash. But yeah, 100% they bought 5M so that they can stop it from happening for GTA 6 or anything related to GTA 6. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through all of these cars that have had to be removed because of Rockstar's new um, terms and conditions for 5M, removing copyrighted cars. I'm just going to go through them really quick. Admiral, Bobcat SWB, Brioso Classic, Brioso Classic Baja, 
uh, Buccaneer Lux, Cavalcade FXT, Chavos, Comet Retro, Contender E109, Coquette GSR, Coquette GSR Sergeant Edition, Coquette Pace Car, Coquette Phobos. No, no, not the Phobos! Oh. Coyote, Dead Ringer, DF890, Dominator Classic, Esperanto, Felta Coupe, Ferrochi, Flash, Fly, Fly US Ferrochi, Flash, Fly US Perennial, Hammerhead, Highway Patrol, Coquette GSR, Hot Ring Fortune, we just add that added. Huntley Baller, Locus, Majima GT, Majima GT LM, no way. Uh, Marbell, Merit, Merit Classic, Merit Classic Stock Car, Mini Van Cab, Mr. Tasty, not that Mr. Tasty, Perennial, the Perennial, Phoenix 455 RS, oh, that was great as well. The Pinnacle, PMP 600, Police Coquette Grand Sport, Premier LE, Presidente, Presidente V10S. Uh, Ranch SWB, Roman's Cab, Rusty Sabre, the regular Sabre, Shafter, Shafter LE, Securicar, Sentinel Drift Spec, Sentinel GTR N24, Sentinel SG4, Sentinel SG4 DM, Sentinel SG4 Road Missile, Soler, Stania S, Stania Taxi, Steed, uh, Stretch Admiral, Stretch E, Super Drift Diamond W16, Super Drop Diamond, Super Drop Diamond W16, Super GT, Turismo, Uranus, Uranus PSP, Uranus PSP, SAHP, Vespa, Victor, Vincent, and Vorstand. That's so disappointing. So many cars that had to be removed. And most of them, most of them are GTA 4 cars, aren't they, really? Like, that were ported over to, to this, to Project Homecoming. Some of them from other games, obviously, but... Most of them are GTA 4 cars. And then some of them, I guess the Majima GT and stuff like that, were using models from other games. But like a lot of the a lot of the Coquettes that were based on the old Coquette model, presumably, uh, have had to be removed because of that. And the Super Drift Diamond and the Super Drop Diamond, why those? Because, I mean, the Super Diamond's in GTA 5. That's such a shame, though. Oh, was it a GTA 4 model for those ones? I really enjoyed those cars as well. The drop version, super drop down. Oh, it's only on the board of Gear Tony. Right, okay. Because remember that? Uh, I'm so. The, the windmill race in the snow that we did with the super, super drift diamond W16. Can't do that anymore. It's gone. Had to be removed. So, a lot of cars there that you might recognize the names of from from get, me getting them in random all races and stuff like that we shall never get them again unless they some of them some of the more popular ones i guess some of the mod creators might be able to make them from scratch or something like that and re, you know revisit them and and but for now they're all gone dead the few now i get why the funeral we had that funeral showcase it was it was necessary i can't believe the coquette phobos is gone that was one of my favorite cars Ugh. Thanks, Rockstar. Appreciate that. Uh, all right. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is that? What? What is that? <laughs> Like this guy? Then join him every third Sunday on 8th Gear. That's now! That's today! <laughs> what is this? The creep face and the, the animated creep face. <laughs> oh my... Even the teeth on the big one has extra creep faces in it. Oh my god. Hey, we got Bruff, Bruffy Roods back. We can't have it as an emote, but it exists here. Look at the teeth. <laughs> we have the Las Vegas sphere at home. Yeah, the Las Vegas sphere at home. What on earth? Rockin' Land Speedway. What? So this is a new track from Ginger Travis on here, at least. So, this is... This looks like it's like complete custom creation, right? What? I mean, we've got a. 
Like, this isn't just a track made up of props. This is... What on earth? I haven't even seen the main track yet and I'm already amazed. We've got a little cart circuit. Which is also a jump doubling as an oval and an infield. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, is it the Cockett Phobos? Oh, is this the last time I'm ever going to get... Oh, this will be the last time I ever get to drive it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's the same as the big one, just small. We've got a little a building. Can we go inside? Oh, we can! <laughs> we need some interior stuff in here. Holy moly. Okay, I see the steps over there. I'll get a closer look at... Uh, look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's go into this, into the actual circuit. I'm... A, I'm... I'm... St nope. I'm stunned. Because this is all... Like, is this custom models and stuff? How... How? Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, look at this. There's even people in the crowd. Uh. Holy. Holy moly. Completely custom. Um. Okay. Okay, I need to get on it. How do I get on it? Look at this. Ginger Travis, I have absolutely no idea how you've done this. <laughs> this is like... This is just something else. How is... I can't even fathom a way that this is even done. Blender. <laughs> okay. So literally, completely custom, like, propping and creation. Wow. So here's the thing. Tonight, we're going to be playing a lot of real-world tracks for the last time. But... Based on what I'm seeing here, it doesn't even matter. Creators are good enough to make it moot point anyway. We don't need real world tracks. We've got something that looks just like one. This is the second track that's made this way. Remember we told you to race on Tongva Turnpikes. This is similar, but not as 100% as custom as this. Yeah, I do remember that. Um, I actually saw Ginger Travis's video on that track. But yeah, it, it isn't as custom completely custom as this is this is remarkable this is just like entirely from scratch look at the the, ga the pit building garage oh my god Tongva was the test run to see how it works I think you can say it's safe to say that it works all the all the the custom um, billboards, the crowd, the boxes up there, we got the oval, we got an infield, all completely custom. Wow. <laughs> the FPS takes a hit in places here, but I'm happy with it. I'm not surprised, but... I mean, this is just remarkable. Excellent work, Ginger Travis. This is unbelievable. This is like taking track creation to a completely different stratosphere. <laughs> yeah, Ginger Travis outplayed 5M before they even announced the removal of ported tracks. I know, right? 
Wow. This just, you know, it just goes to show that we, we, the, the custom modding community of games will always uh, prevail. This is just remarkable. Incredible. Look at this pit lane. <laughs> and then the road that goes underneath the track to bring you into it and... <laughs> to the dumps. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's getting all carnage. We're, oh, we're, oh no. It's going back to GTA. <laughs> oh yeah, the custom lights as well, of course. Oh, we need to wait for it to darken up to see them. Holy moly, look at it. It looks incredible. The lights actually work to, to brighten things up. Wow. This is it's just... I'm, I'm speechless though, like this is just something else, isn't it? This is just... We don't need real world tracks ported over when we've got stuff like this. Unreal. So what's the deal? Is this always going to be on the map on an in an 8 gear free roam session or is this just loaded in for this showcase and then it'll load itself in when uh, when we do a race on it or something like that? Yes, free roam. Oh, that's amazing. Oh yeah, the massive car park as well. So this is always going to be here in free roam. Wow. I like that. Who needs Monaco off the side of the map when you've got this? It fits in really nicely with the um like the 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 rest of the the map as well. Like in this location, just you know, just over where the Alamo Sea is. It fits in really really well. And vanilla GTA still has a building site, I know, right? <laughs> wow. Alright, let's give it a go. At least I'm not I'm not too far from the back. Uh, from the front even. <laughs> Harmonic start, so hopefully uh, hopefully we can stay out of, of at least a bit of trouble, because I imagine with sixty two people around here, there's already there's already there's already carnage is gonna ensue. I can see everybody around the, the oval already. This is so cool. So yeah, since uh, since the new um, PLA, the platform license agreement is gonna be removing a lot of cars and obviously the real world tracks from 8th gear. Not allowed to have them anymore. Anything that's copyrighted content, anything that's from a different game or whatever is gonna be removed. The Phobos was from Mafia 3, by the way. I think yesterday I said it was from... Uh, what did I say? Max Payne or something? But, yeah, any vehicle, any track is going to have to be removed from these 5M servers. So, today, on this stream, the plan is to just play all of those tracks one last time. Literally every single real world circuit that we've already played and has already been featured in videos before we're gonna play them all again um, make the most of it you know whilst we can because they're gonna be removed by the next time I'm on eighth gear but it would it, it there's no point in me not playing this after this introduction I think do you know what I'm gonna put up a video of yesterday's Project Homecoming stuff, where we had the uh, the death of all of the cars. I'm gonna add this race onto it at the end to show that hey, it might seem bad, but you know what? The modding community are always gonna be able to one up anything that Rockstar can do. I think. And then. I'll, uh, then for the rest of this stream, we're going to play some real world circuits. They'll feature in some future videos, I imagine. 
as one last blowout of real world circuits. Um, but yeah, playing this one is kind of like the antithesis of everything that we've had to go through in terms of all the tracks and all the cars are going to have to be removed, but hey, as long as there's incredibly talented modders for 5M that can create incredible things like this, we're going to be alright. Yeah, I did get into the lead. <laughs> I don't think it'll last, but do you know what? I'm just happy to be uh, driving this Colkhead 4 boss again for one last time once again. This is going to be the one of the ones that gets removed. It was always one of my favourite of the modded vehicles in these 5M servers. Whether it was Project Homecoming or 8th Gear. I just always really enjoyed this car. But yeah, because it's from Mafia 3, has to go. I'm sure we'll see some of the car models return, say like custom created versions of them. Um, you know, mod creators actually uh, making you know their, their own versions of these cars that and some you know some of the more popular ones might come back i suppose without needing the 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 the, 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 you know, the the model from a different game version like pit stop time everyone's got to do one pit stop in this race the pit lane actually works beautifully Look at this. This is so cool. Well, it's just a shame, isn't it? But hey. We still get to have incredible race experiences like this. We can mourn the loss of, uh, you know, some of the stuff that we've gotten used to on these 5M servers, but ultimately we are still on these 5M servers and that allows the creativity of the modding community to, to reign free. Especially with stuff like this, it's kind of remarkable. Incredible job, Ginger Travelers on this. Good lord. <laughs> this is so cool though. Oh. That was all kinds of bad. So yeah, for those watching this on YouTube, expect maybe one or two or three videos, however many it requires, because the rest of this stream that we're playing this on right now, we're going to go through all of the real world circuits on 8th gear one more time. So I expect a video with, uh, with all those in, saying goodbye to the real world circuits in 5M. What? Well, well, I mean, the, the future of uh, the future of 5M is bright when we've got stuff like this being made. To be fair, I kind of always understood. It. Like, I, I always think I felt that the real world circuits on Eighth Gear were always going to be. Um, just a matter of time in a way you know kind of they were always gonna have to be removed at some stage but uh, once again just like Rockstar did when they removed the cars in vanilla GTA 
they found a way to make it much worse with this and make it all of their own games as well <laughs> uh, and and make the you know not even allow gta 4 cars or anything like that they've managed to make it you know the, the worst case scenario shouldn't be surprised really should we Good old Rockstar. I mean, we always knew that when Rockstar bought 5M, I said it in the, uh, the the podcast when we talked about it, there was always going to be some downsides to it. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it, for those downsides to present themselves. But hey, they can't remove this. We can come back to this track as much as we want in the future. Nothing Rockstar can do about it. Because it's completely custom made. An incredible example of why we don't need ports and whatnot. I'm going to miss the four boss though. I am really going to miss this. too wide. Missed my braking zone big time there. Braking point. In a battle over third. That was fun. Top five's always possible. I'll take that. Fourth out of 62. What a track. As much as Rockstar will continue, I'm sure, to try and, you know, encroach on anything that the creator and GTA community will try to do. I mean, we've been dealing with it for the last 10 years. The the creative community and the GTA community will always push through and make incredible things like this. Bye-bye, Corkhead 4 boss, but uh, hello, incredible custom circuit creations as this. Unbelievable. That's what I mean. Like, where do you draw the line? Like... You know, how are Rockstar going to enforce something like that? I imagine they're only going to enforce the obvious stuff. Like the, the cars that, you know, a real life Mercedes ported from a, 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 you know, Forza game or something like that. Or a Seto Corsa. You know, the tracks obviously have to go. It's it, 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 But, you know, if someone recreates the GTA 4 Turismo... I mean, Rockstar themselves, they, they, they copy real-world cars. I mean, look at the, the La Carouse. It's just a straight copy of the... I mean, Peno with the logo versus Renault. Then the La Carouse looks exactly... Even, even Renault tweeted about it. 
because it was so close and they, they just straight copy real world cars themselves so you know i don't know i don't know where they where they get off on that to be honest there it is look renault uk wait a minute isn't that our renault 5 turbo <laughs> <laughs> and the Peno and the Peno logo is literally just the Renault logo turned on its side, and then Renault France did for us. There's only one Peno. I'm guessing this is like a rugby player. I, I don't know, but like <laughs> Grand Theft Peno, like Rockstar have gotten so much worse over the years at um at, at taking real world car models and just literally pretty much copy pasting them into GTA. Like, I really liked it a lot better when they combined different cars. Um, but, you know, it's a little rich of Rockstar to not allow even GTA 4 cars. I get the whole, you know, they've got to, you know, protect against copyright issues now that they own 5M when it comes to, you know, 5M servers having Audis and Mercedes and all that kind of stuff. They need to protect against that. But, yeah, where's the line get drawn, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Dinmite, for showing us this. This is how you make a, a new logo for a new manufacturer based on Renault in GTA Online these days. <laughs> and this is this is how you do it. <laughs> that is the Peno logo. That is the Renault logo. And that's pretty much what they did, let's be honest. <laughs> Rotate, remove one bit, add one bit, done. Yeah. A little bit richer. I think Rockstar need to look inward a little bit at themselves on some of this before they start uh, being too prescriptive on what they're going to have removed from 5M. <laughs> this is a company that makes billions and this is all they come up with. I know, right? But, hey. Ah, good old Rockstar.